I had a dream when I was a kid and she stole it. I'll tell you my dream. When I was a little kid, my father took me to an Astros game. Yeah. And he told me, he said, bring, bring your glove. And I said, okay, but they're not going to hit it way up here. <laughs> and I, I sat up there like, as a little kid, and I looked down, and I used to see those guys that sat behind home plate. And I used to tell myself that one of these days I'm going to grow up, I'm going to make money, and I'm going to be the guy that sits behind home plate. And I'm proud to say, I'm proud to say last year I was able to do that. I was able to do Don't clap. Don't clap. Don't clap. Don't you dare clap. My wife was involved, Captain Evil. <laughs> That's what I call my wife, Captain Evil. She's like a messed up superhero. If I'm ever having too much fun, she will show up. <laughs> What's going on over here? What are you, smiling? We gotta go. We gotta go. I'm tired. I'm sick. I'm hungry. I'm cold. I'm hot. I hate him. I hate her. Ah! And I'll tell you how it happened. I was sitting at home and I called my buddy up. I said, me, you, opening day, home plate. And I hung up the phone. And here comes Captain Evil. How come you didn't invite me? I said, first of all, how did you hear that? You're in the, you're in the kitchen, I'm in the living room. How come when I'm screaming at the top of my lungs for a beer, you're nowhere to be found? Now I'm having a private conversation in code in your satellite ears all of a sudden. <laughs> Just what's going on over here? How come you didn't invite me? I said, honey, you don't like baseball. My wife, my wife doesn't like baseball. You know how I know she doesn't like baseball? I watch it on TV. And she walks by that TV and goes, Ugh. How can you watch that? Is there a game every day? <laughs> no, ma'am. Sometimes there's two. <laughs> now, all of a sudden, I'm spending $500 on tickets, and guess who's an Astros fan? All of a sudden. <laughs> Captain Evil. Now, I got to call my buddy, tell my buddy that Captain Evil has to come. I call him up and said, man, I got bad news. He said, what? I go, Captain Evil has to come. He goes, oh, that's good news. I was trying to figure out how to tell you Deelzebub has to come. <laughs> that's, that's what he calls his wife, Deelzebub. But not to her face. He calls her angel. Because the devil was an angel, too. I call mine honey, short for the honey badger. <laughs> now, the four of us are going to the game. I tell my wife before we leave, I go, you're going to get cold, wear a coat. You need to wear a coat. It gets cold, wear a coat, sweater, something. She didn't, she didn't, she didn't wear any of it. It didn't match her outfit. I, I brought a coat. I, I, I brought a coat. Who's wearing a coat now? Uh, not, not me. I'm freezing my ass off. Captain Evil is toasty right here. I don't even get to sit next to my buddy. I'm sitting here. Captain Evil's here. DL's above's here. He's way over there. <laughs> we don't even get to talk. We just look at each other. <laughs> they talk. They're talking. Oh, yeah. Not even about baseball. Oh, my God. I went over to the Macy's. Had 20% off at the Macy's. I got this for $17. $17! <laughs> <laughs> wonder if they sell wine. Baby, think they sell wine? Go check if they sell wine. Am I watching the game? No, like an asshole. I'm walking around trying to see if they sell wine. <laughs> and I can't ask just one person. I have to ask the entire stadium. Because God forbid, I sit back down with no wine and my wife sees another woman with wine. <laughs> and the entire game, I have to hear, she has wine, how come she has wine? Look, she has wine, that's wine, I can tell that's wine. That's wine, she has a good husband. I'll go get it, fuck it, I'll just go get it because you don't care, you don't care about me, you don't care about me. Her husband cares, Her hu she has wine. Look at that's wine, I can tell that's wine. Shit! <laughs> and I'm sitting down, finally, I get back after an hour and a half. She has a beer in her hand. <laughs> well, you took forever, you motherfucker. <laughs> 
You have to ask God for help. God, help me right now. Please help me. <laughs> finally, I sit down. And I'm finally enjoying the game that I've, I've dreamt about. And every time they would hit a foul ball, I would jump out of my seat. So would my buddy, hoping the foul ball was coming to me. The foul ball would go off, and I'd jump up. About the fourth time, I looked back at my wife. She says, you're an idiot, you know that? <laughs> I said, really, honey? Because if Louis Vuittons were flying over that fence, <laughs> there'd be some dead bitches here at the Astros. <laughs> Tickets would be $3,000 a ticket. <laughs> and somehow we'd find room in our budget for that! What I'm trying to say, ladies, is you're a bad person. 